Also, I started crying in there, just barely, just not lots. Because only one of us can take it. Come. Giving the baby a kiss. Good morning. Good. We're not holding the camera while. Uh, you want me to? to I can it. do like a yeah. pano. Uh, yes. Yeah, so All the angles. This morning. It's uh, October uh, 1st. Uh. Oh, wow. October 1st, we, we are here with the Maurer family household. Um, <laughs> News anchor Diddy. Craziness in the household. Yeah. Which you already know if you've watched our vlogs for some time now. Beckham's gonna go play with a friend. Bam. This. Beckham the said cleats and Michelle's gonna go get Peyton from school because Bam. They have a big said Michelle thing. yes pregnant Michelle is gonna go pick up Peyton at school <laughs> and head to Salt Lake for a doctor's appointment but this is fun pre-op meeting yes. with the doctor right so we got a week from tomorrow is the surgery yep uh, so this is a big deal um, you know we, we, she's gonna have two plates put in her feet and uh, it's gonna be a pretty big operation for our daughter. Two screws, so, right? Um, pray for her, show her some love, and uh, yeah, okay. Judy's gonna stay I'm here gonna, and work. I'm gonna be here working. Good luck. Today's the busiest day of the month for him exactly. for work. And it's, yeah. So, okay. so it's good okay. to see you guys. Take care, and this is JD Maurer reporting live at the Maurer household. <laughs> Goodbye. Wait while I transfer your call. You. Yeah, I need to have my daughter um, brought down to the office. I'm on my way to get her for a doctor's appointment. Hold on one minute. Yeah, okay, here's your daughter. Peyton Maurer. Okay, I'll do it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye. 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 Alright, we're here. Hi. How you feeling? Oh, a little bit excited. A little bit excited? so tired because I just sat in my car seat for like 12 hours. It's true, this is a long drive. It's about an Tra hour and 15 minutes. We're actually in chapter 10 of Grinch. Oh, we are. She turned on the Grinch on the way here and she's on chapter 10, so that tells you how long it is. Anybody do the math, let me know. Well, it's, it sounds like it's like one, two, three, four, five. Right. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Like that's like, <sighs> that's like easy, you know? But it's like one, Okay. So, all right, we gotta get in there. So we are on our way in. Hopefully they'll answer all the questions we have. And they'll give her a physical so they know exactly how much anesthesia to give her. And, mm, uh, just <laughs> and then we'll be on our way home. So something really cool about this doctor is that he basically helped Judy's brother walk again. His brother was in a horrible, horrible car accident. Um, the girl had passed out. It was going about 110 on the on the freeway, and JD or JD's brother was going the speed limit, so like 70, so like 180 mile an hour head-on collision. Um, anyways, in a coma for a long time, was never supposed to walk again. This doctor has done oh countless surgeries on him, and he's now able to walk. Um, in fact, he's, his brother sees him every three days right now still. So, we are a big fan of this doctor and it's good to know your baby girl is in good hands. All right, waiting for the doctor. Mm -hmm. Make sure. And this is stuck on me as a loose pipe. Yep. Okay, so, so far we've met with the fellow. I guess the doctor does not come today. Note to self, I need to start remembering to request the doctor to be there. I just assume, so that's okay. I've been impressed with his fellow so far, so. Um, they're about to have the lady come and she's gonna answer all my questions about like fasting and pain medicine and all of those. So I came prepared with a list of 20 plus questions. Bless, bless that lady's heart. How are you? Good. 
Good. I'm gonna go. Good. Get good. All right, can I talk to him? They got a folder. Um, we got a folder with pre-op and post-op instructions. She cannot have any kind of like ibuprofen two days before. Or food. Um, or water. She does have to go fasting. Uh, I'm gonna um, die. So with the, he said that the least she is on her feet for two weeks and having her feet elevated, the quicker she'll heal. So he said it's not like she can't for five days and then she can. It's like, well, if she needs to walk to the bathroom that first day, she could, but the more she walks, it's gonna irritate the stitches and the incision site and scar tissue. So the least she walks, she I had to set up a post-op appointment for her for the 20th. I'm like nervous I'm gonna have a baby. Yeah. Also, I started crying in there, just barely, just not lots. Because only one of us can take it. Huh. Only one of us can go in there. Uh, that's okay. That's okay. I we know. can FaceTime too. Yeah. But it just is killing me. I know. Oh, and I know I should probably be you since I'm nine months pregnant, but <laughs> I wanted to be me. Yeah, I'm not funny. Uh, at all. Okay, uh. Oh, I know. Dang it. Okay. Dang it, dang it. So, yeah, you make oh. <laughs> Anyways, that's where that's where we're at right now. So, she yeah. said to me her exact words were, "I think I deserve a treat." <laughs> I think so I do. Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna go get her treat and then we'll be heading home. Um, your Broncos play tonight. Do you want me to pick up Buffalo Wild Wings on the way home? Sure. So we love you. See you later, Dad. Bye. Well, we made it home. Yay! And this is the longest day of my life. I am going to go die on the couch. You're expecting nothing of me tonight, yes. right? Yes. No, you just watch Rock. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <And> look at <laughs> this. But look, yeah, I want to hear him tell him about the food mishap. Yeah. So, JD put in an order for Buffalo Wild Wings, and I told him I'd grab it on my way home because it's like 20 minutes away. And so he brought me the the bag. Here, let's see. And there was two bags, and he handed me this one, and it says JD's name right there. Can you see? It's blurry. It says JD's name, and I thought, wow, that is a lot of food for like 11 bucks, 12 bucks. Mm -hmm. But whatever, okay. So I get home, and the top bag was ours, but the bottom bag was somebody else. Kelly Ride. Sorry, Kelly. Kelly Ride, I'm so sorry. So, <laughs> JD had basically ordered 20 of those, and we got 30 of those, some kind of a wrap, and two things of chips. I'm feeling like poor You're Kelly. Really made out. No, I'm feeling really bad for Kelly. I said made She's out. probably. <laughs> you did say made out. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> say, I ate the bones. I ate the bones. <laughs> I ate bones. It feels really applicable for mm. this meal. Yeah, it does. But, um,. Anyways, all of this, I'm feeling kind of bad. I'm Kelly Ride. Oh, I am Kelly. so sorry. This was not I intentional. Need dinner, though. Yeah, well, I mean, I'm sure they got fixed. Oh, wow. She even got carrots and ranch. Here, Paul, we want the carrots. With it. With all? Oh. Anyways, so it was not meant to be dishonest. We are home. I'm gonna go in the bathtub to try to stop these contractions. But the Broncos play tonight, and anytime the Broncos play on a weekday, we make it a big deal. So, Becky has been saying all day, is it time for the Bronx to play? <laughs> Pretty cute. Pretty cute. And are you feeling good about your appointment? A little bit. A little bit? Okay. Oh, I just cut a whole pear for Becky's dinner. Peyton, do you know what happened to that pear? You hungry, Peyton? She shouldn't be. She got her own little mill. All right, well. Party on, Wayne. So this is how we do it. We do Buffalo Wild Wings ice cream while we watch football. Well, bittersweet day. It's good that Peyton's getting her, her legs worked on and hopefully we can make that, you know, that will be better for her. I really, cause I've actually been noticing she's been walking on her toes a lot more lately. 
So I'm, I'm excited to see kind of what, how this works and if it's gonna be beneficial for, her. I mean, it's gonna help her, but anyway, we're, we're just a little nervous, but anyway, so glad for modern medicine, thankful for doctors, thankful for the help that she can get, that we can get. Anyway, uh, send some love up towards Peyton. Uh, we love reading the comments, love reading them to the kids as well. So anyway, thanks for watching guys and we'll see you next time. Bye.